Welcome back to the Veggie Patch, Sunshine Farm. And uh, as I said in the last episode, at the end we need to fertilise our field over there. So without any further ado, let's jump into the tractor. Lease a fertiliser spreader. Just double check that I that it does need doing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does. Uh, growth. Yes, it does. Now I've got two ICBs of fertilizer. I don't know how I wound up with two, <laughs> but I did. So we'll just uh, fill up for this one. Might even use it all. Oh, it did. Right, at the right spot. Somewhere about there. So, it's exciting to have a uh, new field eventually. Uh, been hoping to buy one. Oh. I always go the wrong way. That's it. So just be one pass up and one pass back and all done. So we'll be buying probably this spreader or even maybe a bigger one. But not until we have a bigger field. Uh, and the field we do have down there now is quite a bit bigger than this. I'm not actually sure how big it is yet. There it is there, the green field. Now it's not all that big, is it really? It's not a huge field. I like the one right in front of us there. But it's a big improvement over what we have. Right, one pass up. And reduce the width. Hit the wrong right key, which is uh, Control Z. And let's bring it in one, probably. Yep, yeah, that's pretty good. So with the sprayer, it makes it a very quick job, and we like quick jobs. That's for sure. And get on with other things. Right, maybe at the end. Money's still looking okay, but when we move on, that will uh, go up considerably when we uh, sell all the products. Right. And uh, we need to get a shed at some point and tidy up this uh, farmyard. Don't really have much of a farmyard. Right, wait for it to fold up and drop that off there. We've got two of those now. And we turn the sprayer. Very good. A quick job. Yeah, nothing's changed in the sales as I expected. Uh, we'll hook this up to the uh, trailer, ready to go for the next day. Right, and we shall leave that there. And move on and uh, make some more money. See you in the morning. And there we go, another beautiful day, a bit cloudy but quite nice. And uh, some lovely products to sell. Yes, indeed. But, uh, let's get them all loaded up. So, if we take them to where the best price is for carrots, that's probably going to work out okay. May not be the best price for all of them, but um, 
Yeah, so that's the lot. Yep. Now, having said that, what have we got the most of? We don't have any carrots at all, so it's... Um, we can just check on the uh, the beetroot price. Uh, and what month are we in? We're in May. May. Ooh, we're one month away from the best price. Uh, so, which is 2.3. And we are... Oh, we're at 2.3. Okay. <laughs> I think we'll, uh, we'll settle for that. Here we are, back at the uh, usual sale point. Oh, let's get ahead of that car. I think I missed it. Right, let's get these sold. Oh, look at that money rocket up. Oh, that was fast. Yep, 64,000. So uh, we won't quibble about that. Up to 106. So uh, all sorts of options will start to open up if I live that long. <laughs> You'll see that car coming. Right, let's get back to the farm. Right, we are back at the farm. Oh, now I still have products to pick up. So we we'll grab the lettuce. That total another boost. I can never get the products loaded up, that is. With my erratic driving. I blame using a keyboard on a laptop. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. And uh, I think uh, in all fairness it's a fairly good excuse. Because it's not the best. Looking forward to getting a, a wheel and um, pedals and the whole uh, shebang and I'll probably get the farming simulator set up. Not sure which one, but that's the plan and uh, that's probably not too far away. Well, still a few weeks but uh, probably another month away. Right. That's all those. Always a bit of a problem getting in here. Uh, uh, yes, a very big problem because now I'm stuck. Cool, actually got it through. I don't know if I'm coming to the sail point again. Uh, some of the sail points on this map are a little bit hard to get to. Mm. But anyway, uh, back to the main focus of the operation, which was to uh, sell these products and make some more money, which we are doing successfully. Yeah, oh, I didn't get the last little bit, I don't know why. So. That wasn't a great deal. Yeah, it's got the total up a bit. Alright, get out of here and I'll see you back at the app. Right now, let's drop the trailer off here. Well, I'll leave it on. And uh, let's switch this tomato one over to lettuce. That would be a good thing to do. Uh, tomatoes. So if I deactivate that and put it onto lettuce activate. I think that's all I need to do. Excellent. And uh, when we come back the next day the wheat should be ready to harvest. Fingers crossed. And there we go, another lovely day. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to wait long before the uh, greenhouses to produce. 
but we certainly don't have to wait for the production. It's uh, going really well. So more money to be made there immediately, which is fantastic. And this crop is still growing as we knew it would be. But uh, our wheat field should be ready to harvest. I believe it is. Yes, indeed. Ready to harvest. So, we need to lease a harvester. We'll lease that. Lease the header. Yeah, it's not worth paying the extra for one metre. Um, let's jump into that. There it is. Alright, we won't cut through this field anymore. Decided that uh, we won't do that. So this will be the first combinable crop we've done on this uh, series, on this map. Um, I would like to keep some of the wheat for uh, chicken feed, but we have nowhere to store it. And um, yeah, so we may have to wait for another time. We'll better unfold it first, if we'll have to do that. Oh. Yes, looks like we're ready to go. Okay, we've got swath mode enabled. Uh, yes. So I want to uh, bail this. Yep, it's good. This should be uh, a good crop. Right, so we need to, uh, well we have products to sell, but we need to deal with this crop. First and foremost, so that means getting the uh, trailer sorted. Uh, let's get this down ready for the harvester. We're still one stage away from that crop being ready, I believe. Oh, looks like it's gone at a funny angle. <laughs> they always do. And it's 72% uh, full already, so that's pretty good. So, let's get this uh, wheat field done. So the next crop to go in here will be uh, carrots, I think. Um, and I think we'll probably start buying some equipment, if we can afford it, that is. Uh, check if this field needs uh, ploughing. Quickly have a look. Uh, no, it doesn't need ploughing. Does it need lining? No, it doesn't need lining. Brilliant. I 
was good. Alright, so oh, let's get this bit here and head down the other end. So um, we can just use the cultivator on this. I may end up swapping the cultivator for a plough, I don't see the point in having both. And if we need the plough every now and again, we might as well uh, better do it all in one hit. Watch out for the trailer, Gonna knock our trailer over for the wheat. And then here's the other little bit there. Just down on this edge. I like this field, it's, um, yeah, and a pretty good yield by the it. See that it's fully fertilised and lined and ploughed. Didn't need anything doing to it. And uh, I'm not going to fill the uh, hopper up. Uh, we'll need to bail this before uh, I can turn it around. Near it. it is in fact, oh not even halfway, I thought it would have gone a little bit more than that. So it'll probably be about 50%. Yep, yeah, pretty close. A bit over. This uh, trailer is a good trailer, it takes a lot of uh, a lot of grain, a lot of produce. Right, so we can return that. Uh, I'm not going to do any contracts with it. Where am I? In the wrong place. Uh, yeah, finally got me. Turn the header and the harvester. Right, and now, went the wrong way. Where's the best price for wheat? Because we'll have to sell it straight off the field, unfortunately. So hopefully, it's a good price. 1191 is the best. Uh, so 952 is the best price. I have no idea where that is. And the price is uh, only a couple hundred off the best price, so yeah, that won't be too bad for them. And it's straight down here, apparently. Yes, there it is, right at the end of the road. Through the entrance. Oops. There's a gate. Come on. Thank you. Oh, there's a queue here. Across the waybridge. Oh. Yes, I did say I was going to get a front weight, didn't I? And uh, I haven't. <laughs> I shall purchase one as soon as I get back to the farm now. Yeah, interesting to see how much this is going to make. I don't think it will be a huge amount. 10,000? 13. Very good. A little bit more. Right, let's uh, get back down to the farm. Whoops, I need to go and buy a weight for this tractor. Finally. Oh, yes, and I've got to bale that straw. <laughs> But uh, before I do that, I have some uh, products to sell as well. I don't know how the farmers managed to grow a crop in there, seeing so, you know, I've uh, managed to have all my um, seed and fertiliser strewn all over it, and my trailer. Whoops. I uh, 
I'll have to stop doing this. I think I'll... Um, I have room around the back there, and that's where I should be putting everything. I do realise that. Yes, I am going to get a weight. <laughs> but as I'm going past, I might as well load these up. There will be more. I guess that production is getting low on raw materials. Uh, yeah, it has passed it there, but uh, red beet is gone. Oh, I would have thought there would be more to spawn. Right. Yeah, disappointing. Alright. Uh, while I'm here, I've got, I'm trying to do 20 things at once here. <laughs> Just bear with me. I'm going to get these out of the farmer's field. I think that would be a good idea. And we'll pop them down over there. I have all this uh, tremendous strength. But that's probably not a full IBC, so uh, we pretend that it's very light. Although one of these must have a fair bit in. Right, so no more putting stuff on the uh, farmer's field. What, the, what has he got in there? Sugar beet again. It's always sugar beet. Um, we could actually buy the production, but uh, I think um, one thing at a time. I'll uh, see you over at the sale point. So, this isn't uh, a really big load, but uh, still should produce some good money. Thirty-seven thousand. Much better than I thought it was going to be, actually. But yeah, normally it's about 60, so I guess we had half a normal load, so there you go. So finally, with a decent amount of money in the bank, uh, all sorts of options start opening up. More land, machinery, all sorts. Now we have uh, some lettuce to sell, but um, I won't just sell them just yet. In this trailer around here. Yeah. We do need to plant something in the field that we. Uh, oh, I need my tractor, don't I? <laughs> yes, I do need my tractor. Because we need to bale that field before we can plant something in there. I was getting ahead of myself again. Yes, the wheat field. Um, so, quick look in the sales, because you never know, no. So we need a baler, um, probably just do round bales. <laughs> I'm just trying to save money here. Um, yeah, half the price. We'll go for it. <laughs> probably regret it, but do the right thing. Try and save some money. It's only a small field. So uh, it doesn't really matter whether they're round or small or big or whatever shape. And I think we'll be selling them because I don't see any reason to keep bales at this point. I'm not planning on getting cows or anything that might require straw at this point. <laughs> Never know what's in the future, but not at the moment. Hmm. Funny little baler, isn't it? Uh, still seem to be leaving stuff strewn all over this road. I uh, should put that trailer away. So here's the uh, field in question. Yeah, unfold it. I think that's ready to go. I'm not sure if I've used this one before. I don't think I have. 
you have to enable automatic drop. Uh, no, it doesn't have automatic drop. This could be interesting. a lot of bales but boy are they small but uh, that's all right my first job um, when I was still in school in high school was uh, hay carting and it was uh, doing bales like exactly like this by hand loading a truck in this hot Australian summer so you can imagine that what that would be like hard work but yes uh, we do have a lot. Now, can I offload those? No. Turn it off? No. Uh, full baler, unload, unload baler. Oh, why? I always get that wrong. There we go. Well, that did a pretty uh, good job. It was pretty quick because you don't have to stop. So, not a bad option in the end. Um, let's return that. There. You wind up with a lot of bales, small bales, but gee, that was pretty quick. And uh, let's get all these loaded up. Well, we've got the whole lot in uh, one hit. <laughs> oh, left one here. One to go. I thought it was just going to leave one or two left over. Now, I need to find out where to sell these. Hopefully not too far away. Uh, Alright, we want uh, straw. Uh, straw sell point, 111. What's the normal price like? 114. Oh. <laughs> So, straw sale point. That sounds like the logical place to sell straw. However, it's down there. Okay. Alright, we know how to get there. So, we'll uh, see you down at the sale point. There's the sale point, straight ahead to the left. Can't miss that. Now, which way do we get into it? I'm going to say the entrance here. Yep. And there we are. Very easy to get to. Yeah, it's a good one to offload them, is it? I could want. I uh, just need to construct them. Oh, actually, uh, it's over seven thousand dollars. Can I get out here? No. <laughs> Some grass here, so I'll turn around. Yeah, seven thousand dollars. So we did get our money back from the baler. That was about eleven hundred. Right. We'll uh, put this trailer around the back of the production here. There we go. And uh, we need to put something in that field. Let's just stop that there. Check how this crop is going. Ooh, one stage away. That's pretty good. And 
Yeah, carrots. So we're putting carrots in the uh, other one, the new one as well. Let's see what we can afford to buy though. We've got 167,000 from the bank. And what we need is, we have a cultivator that we bought in the sales. But uh, I think we'll sell that. So let's make sure that's selected, repair it, and repaint, and it's worth 4000 Okay, not bad. I'm happy about that. Yeah, let's get the truck there out of the way. So the first thing is a plough. Nothing in the sales, we know that. Now, my favourite player is probably <laughs> way. Oh, my favourite player's not there. Uh, I mustn't have installed the mod. I think we'll buy that one. Oh, another imp impulse purchase. But this will speed things up. All right. Oh, you didn't remind me, did you? A front weight. Uh huh. We will go for. Now yeah, I've got no idea what actual weight we require. Don't want a John D on. Uh, that's 750. Looks pretty substantial. We'll buy it. Now, I'm going to have to go right around to get that on. Long time coming, this front weight. <laughs> but we eventually got one. I hope that's heavy enough. I think that's already made an impact on the steering. So that's good. Rightio, let's get this unfolded. Substantial piece of equipment. Yep. If I can get it lined up properly. Right. Now, interesting little thing to see here. Check here. I don't think this field needed ploughing, but let's just... No, it didn't. Well, that's good. All right, let's get it cultivated. Field cover baby. Easy as. With our brand new cultivator, and it did a very good job indeed. Now, going to need room for all this machinery soon, um, but the next piece of machinery we need to look at purchasing is the furrow maker. Now, just get this out of the way here. I know that on the uh, standard selection on here, it's under vegetable technology, there's only two. 
Um, that one is three meters, this one is six meters. So, and that's 59,000. So that's the next piece of equipment we need. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick look on uh, Mod Hub and just see if there's anything else on there. So I'll be back shortly. So I couldn't find anything on uh, Mod Hub. So it'll just be uh, from the standard range. Ah, no, not from that standard range, the standard range. So uh, set those six meters. No options to change. Uh, we should buy it. Uh, so that's uh, two pieces of equipment we no longer have to um, lease. Put that off there. And go and pick up the new furrow maker. Ridge maker, if you want to call it. And we still have uh, 50,000. So that's pretty good. I don't know that we'll be able to afford anything else. Uh, when we sell more products, we certainly will be able to. And uh, where have they put it this time? In the yard, that's good. Yeah, it does look quite a bit bigger. Well, twice the working width of the one we were using before. So, that make, should make short work of that field. Getting a bit low on diesel there, I've just noticed too. So, whoops, out of control. We'll uh, have to get somewhere we're over at the uh, store next. Right, so here we are at the field. Unfold it. Beautiful. And off we go. So that's another stage complete. Nearly complete. And one more piece of equipment to buy, which is a planter. Gonna miss a little bit on the side there. That's okay, not worth worrying about. And the planter is, the six metre wide planter is 51,000, so we're a little bit short. So, probably need to go and sell those few products, so we've got enough money for that. We won't be able to buy a harvester for some time, so we'll be leasing that for uh, probably quite a while. Uh, we need 200,000 to buy that, so that'll be uh, <laughs> a bit further down the track. But a cedar we can get, and then we have all the main equipment we need to uh, grow vegetables. So, if I park this up around the side here, this still seems to be uh, a bit hard to handle, even with the uh, the weight. Oh, trailer's around that way. I oh, don't want that trailer do I? No, I don't want any trailer. Oh yeah, for the products. <laughs> I'm looking at the trailer thinking I need that for something. And indeed I do. Because we're, we're a bit short of the money needed. some lettuce. Not many, but enough. Oh, I didn't know. Oh, there we go. Uh, there should be uh, three lots. So this will uh, easily be enough to enable us to buy the cedar. Right, let's check 
where the best price is for lettuce. Let us check. Sorry. Um, and lettuce is right down the bottom here somewhere. Uh, maybe not. Up here. Um, somewhere up here. Uh, tomatoes, lettuce, there we go. I think these prices are pretty low too. Oh, 3,000, yeah, a bit, not too, not too bad. Actually, they're all pretty much the same. Where's the closest one? I think Old Trader is the one. Oh, just, oh yeah, this is another one. That's where I thought it was. Oh, let's head down there. Oh, very handy having this so close. I might have mentioned that before. <laughs> just a few times. But it is. It's great having a sail point uh, just down the road. Right. Let's see if it was worthwhile switching everything to lettuces. I think it will be. Well, we're well over the 51, so... No problems there at all. 7,000 for those. Not a lot of money, but all the money we needed. Okay, parked it up uh, here, ready to pick up some products which are spawning quite quickly. And we shall go and buy a cedar. Still not sure whether they're called cedars or planters. I think they're called planters. We did work that out before, but I've forgotten which one it was. Oh, I've got to buy one first. Uh, and it's going to be the 6 metre version. Which is that one. I haven't used this before. Well, I don't think I have. Buy that. Now if these turn up in the sales after we've uh, bought them, I'll be very cross. Um, down to $5,000, but we have a lot of equipment to show for that. And there it is. Well, we've done very well, I must say, to have all the equipment we need for growing vegetables, apart from the harvester, in a relatively short period of time. Well, what happened now? Well, I couldn't drive forward for some reason, I don't know what was going on there. Anyway, we'll uh, fill that up. And get back down to the field. So I think you know, the plan is to cycle through the different root crops. So we have carrots in that one. Uh, we'll put carrots in this one as well. And then we'll uh, do uh, red beetle parsnips next. Okay, this unfolded. Uh, make sure we're in the right crop, which we are not. Carrots, there we go. And off we go. Uh, I'll come back when the field is completed. And just finishing off the last bit of the uh, seeding. And that's uh, another carrot crop in the ground. It will need to be fertilised once it germinates. And uh, we might have enough money to buy the sprayer. We'll move on to the next day. And, uh, we'll certainly have more products to sell. There we go. So, what a very successful episode that was purchased two new pieces of equipment, or three, sorry, three new pieces of equipment. Uh, a cultivator, a furrow maker, and a cedar. So, do do very well. Uh, next time we move on this carrot crop uh, right here, we'll be ready to harvest. Yeah, let's just pipe this over here. 
and get out and admire our new purchases. Very nice. So there you go. So next episode we've uh, Yes, I said we'll move on and then we'll uh, get a, uh, a sprayer and uh, spray that crop and uh, harvest this one and keep this production going. It might be, uh, must be running low on products, I would say. Uh, no, I've still got quite a few parsnips to go. 27,000 litres to be exact. So there will be products uh, to sell the next on the next day. Well, thanks very much for watching this episode. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.